Morning. How do you pronounce your first name? Uh, Yide. Hang on, let me turn my volume up. What is it? Uh, Yveltal. Yveltal? Yes. I say that okay? So, yeah, it's Yibe is a short or a nickname. It could be a okay. nick or a short. Yes, that's easy. Yibe. Let's do that. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> I think I've so, talked yeah. to you before through email, but eBay. Yeah, great. All right. Will Peyton. Gavin. Hello. What up, Gavin? Oh, not much. I have it on my calendar to put you in that 111 class, like I told you. Okay. M Daddy's here. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Ethan. Carter. Give it a couple more minutes in case people are coming in late started um can everybody hear me see me can you guys yeah. like show me yep. this is are you guys all in bed naked still yeah. who's naked yeah. there's gavin he's wearing clothes i'm too cold to be naked right now you're what oh will right in. hi will hello why is your hand raised I do not know. Oh. Do you want me to turn on the, com the camera and what we can find out? Uh, no, I can lower it. See, I just lowered it. Just want okay. to make sure you didn't have a question. It's nice to be able to see your faces. eBay's on there. Gavin's on there. Ethan's there. Gavin, what are you doing? It's just a lot more comfortable for me when I'm talking to people rather than a bunch of black squares with names on it. So I recognize some of you from uh, 131, 132 kind of stuff. Some of you probably don't know me yet, but uh, you will. Did somebody leave? Eight. No, we're good. Okay. So, how was everybody's break? Anybody get arrested? No? No. Nope. Ethan, why are you wearing a mask? Uh, I'm at ICC right now. Uh, oh, you are? My, yeah, my Wi-Fi at home is so bad, I can't do anything there. Where are you at? Um, in the downstairs at the AIT building. Is it like a like a computer lab? It's just um, it's just like an open spot with a bunch of tables and some outlets. So, are there people around you? Because you're talking really quietly, like you're uncomfortable. Uh, no, it's probably just the mask. Oh, okay. Well, um, I was gonna say I'm up in two seventeen right now. If you're, uh, I don't really have a plan for scheduling other than play it by ear. Like, let's plan on being able to come in to AIT 217 every day, but I'll try to keep ahead of like this week. What I'm planning on doing is meeting on Zoom today and Wednesday, and then coming in on Friday to do lab work. Um, so that's my tentative schedule for this week. Today's gonna be a little short, going over syllabus and um, things like that, so. Are everybody able to come in on Wednesday or on Friday? OK. 
Okay. Um, yep. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, whoa. What? Um, my sister is graduating from the Marines on Friday, so I would like to be able to watch her graduate. But... Should we take the class? No, like where's it at? It's just online because you can't oh. go. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Tell her thank you for her service. All right. Um, M Daddy, we're gonna do something about that Packers poster. It's it's not mine. Good, go rip it off the wall and throw it in the toilet. It's so big for that. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll stop screwing around and show you guys Blackboard. Anybody been on the Blackboard site yet? It probably just opened up for you today. See my screen? Oh, there's the answer to number one on your homework. Look quick. Both B and C. Look at all you going, whoa, what is it? <laughs> all right. Um, here's a rundown of the site. Hopefully, you all saw this announcement or saw it on your email. Um, this is my information. Here's the syllabus. I'm not printing it out and handing it to you, but it's on Blackboard for you guys to read through. And there's a little PDF version of it right here. Um, really the only thing on the syllabus I'm gonna point out to you is the, um, the office hours thing. Things are still kind of weird because of COVID. And technically this class is listed as hybrid, but by the time it's all said and done, we're gonna be in person for the most part, I would think. This course is very, very hands-on. You're not gonna learn a whole lot unless you're out in the lab putting this stuff together. So, um, but best way to get a hold of me is by email. That's this guy right here. Um, you can call my office, but like, I'm never in there anymore. I just pop in there to check my messages every once in a while. But if you send me an email, it'll pop up on my phone right away. Um, if you need extra help on anything and you wanna meet one-on-one, -on -one, we can do that in person or on Zoom, uh, but just talk to me after class or send me an email and we'll set up a time that works best for both of us to do that. Uh, yeah, let you guys read through the rest of that stuff. Um, tool list. By now, you guys should all have your tools, right? Um, for this class, you're going to need um, your meter, um, wire strippers, screwdrivers, that's probably about it. Um, oh, look at this. This is handy. I forgot that I posted this. Um, these are PowerPoints that the publisher sent me for, um, for your textbook. Does everybody have a textbook? Let's see if I can get this so I can see all of you. Anybody not have a textbook? Hey, you got it in I your hand. Have, I do not have one yet, Zach. Who's that? That's Carter. Carter does not have one yet? I have yeah. Not one. I don't have one either. DeRay doesn't have one. Will you guys have one by tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I can go get one. Yeah, okay. Okay. The first homework assignment that I put on there is due Wednesday morning at 9 when we meet. Um, Will has his hand raised again. What's up, Will? Okay. <laughs> I just think it's funny to see somebody raising their blue hand. Do you have a question, Will? Uh, no, I do not. I would just did that when you're counting attendance. Oh, nice. All right. Um, okay. 
Uh, M Daddy, you have your book right in front of you. Does it say an edition? Is it second edition, third edition? It's third. Third. Okay. All right. Um, okay, that should be good. Um, chapter one. Um, chapter one. So this, if I pull up this PDF for you guys. This is first edition, this PDF that I have, but it should be pretty similar to the third edition. If uh, if I ever pull something up that's not jiving with your textbook, just let me know because I have a third edition book too. I just don't have a PDF of it. So anyway, chapter one is all about safety. Um, I'm not going to go through it in lecture. I'm just going to let you guys read through it. Most of what I do on lecture is going to be stuff that has to do with the, the labs and actual physical components and how they work. And then walking you guys through ladder diagrams. Um, so if there's things that come up in the textbook that I don't cover in class that you don't understand, just let me know and we'll, we'll go over whatever that specific thing is. Sound good? So when's the first homework assignment due? Wednesday morning. Wednesday at 9 a.m. And you can see that on Blackboard. You're still looking at my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So these red ones, at least they're red on my screen. I don't know what they will be when you guys open it up. That's your whatever's coming up, whatever is due. I can move these things around pretty easily to change the due date, and I will do that. Um, but I'll try to stay at least a week, you know, have the next about one week um, um, up to date. So for now, this week, chapter one will be due Wednesday at 9 a.m. Chapter two will be due Friday at 9 a.m. Wednesday, we'll do a uh, lecture here on Zoom. And then Friday, you guys come into the lab and we'll start getting our hands dirty. Sound good? Okay. Um, you all know where AIT 217 is? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. It's right in the middle upstairs, right? What? It's like right when you walk in that entryway, like right ahead of it. Yeah, the door that you have to come into because they're funneling everybody into that one door. Um, you come down that little hallway and it's right in front of you. But, yeah. Wow, your internet sucks. <laughs> yeah. Where are you, Carter? Uh, I'm working in remember by Knoxville, like the Hinda. The Hinda? So we're, uh, there's four, four That's blade, like uh, yeah. Oak Run, isn't it? Yeah, right by Oak Run. Yep. Okay. Um, no, you're good. You don't for the for the in for the Zoom meetings. I'm by the way, I'm going to record all these and put them uh, online, like on YouTube. So if you want to go back and review anything, you can. Because I'm going to walk through some of this lab stuff, right? So I don't just hand you a ladder diagram and expect you to go wire it up and number it and all that stuff. I'm going to kind of walk you through some things. So if you ever have a question on something and you're in the lab, pull out your phone and pull up that YouTube video and, and um, you know, figure it out. Uh, that being said, what I usually do is I post, um, post them on the shared drive. So you guys use Google Drive yet? Has anybody not used it? Not sure. I will check. Okay. Um, are you on a computer right now? Yes. Okay. So if you go to uh, Google and just search for Google Drive. Um, this uh, drive.google.com sign in. I'm already signed in, but if you're not, it should look like something like this. 
And what you want to do, eBay, is use your um, ICC uh, sign in login info. Yeah, but make sure you use at lab.icc.edu. And the cool thing is, is with that login, you have unlimited memory you can use. So this is like outside of our classroom stuff. I use this for like my personal life, like pictures and videos and all, all of my life is on Google Drive, which is probably scary, but I don't care. Um, if you get, if you use Google Drive with a personal account, then you're limited to like 15 gigabytes. But if you log in with your at lab.icc.edu, you're unlimited on your memory. So instead of like, you never have to buy a little thumb drive or an external hard drive again to save all your crap. You can use your, your ICC. I will, yeah, I will do that. So anyway, I'm going to, um, I'm going to log into mine here. And in Black Tech 150. I'm going to create, no, this one. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to share it with all you weirdos. You'll probably get an email or something saying, hey, you've been got this folder shared with you. But uh, anytime I add something in this folder now, you guys should have access to it. So I'm going to create one called um, Zoom Recordings. And now when you guys see, why is that not in there? There it is. When you see this in that folder, any any Zoom recordings that I do, I'll post them, uh, the link to it. I'll put it on YouTube and I'll post the link to it on this little spreadsheet, including today's little doodad. But if you're new to Google Drive, what you'll see how you find that folder is uh, after you sign in eBay, over here on the left, you'll have this little tab called shared with me. And then somewhere right there, you'll have um, this Electech 150 folder. All right. right here. So if you have trouble finding that or you're, you need help with Google Drive, just let me know. It's just an easy way for me to share files and information with you on here um, because Blackboard charges the school for um, memory like i don't care about the money but this is a lot quicker and i can just upload whatever i want so and you the, the other thing is you have access to it anywhere so like on your phone out in the lab or whatever you know um but i can put pdfs i can put those powerpoints on here if you want um so that's google drive um Uh, some of this stuff will change. I haven't sorted through this yet, but um, your overall grade will be listed as uh, this weighted total. Um, these are not in very good order, but um, all of the uh, all of the homework is in multiple choice format. There's not a whole lot of questions in them it shouldn't take you too long to do just make sure you stay on top of the due dates and um, i like to get through the book work uh, as quick as possible to save time towards the end of the eight weeks to 
really be hands-on. For me, the hands-on in the lab is where you're gonna do most of your learning in this class. Um, so don't, don't get overwhelmed with the book stuff. We got plenty of time to be in the lab getting this stuff figured out. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> I don't know if I, put the ladder diagrams in there yet. But. Anyway, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, we're gonna start looking at motors and what make them tick. You guys seen um, much of uh, AC or DC motors downstairs? Probably not, have you? In your first couple of semesters? I have not seen any. Okay. Good. We'll start from, from scratch. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I got, I don't have a motor hooked up on this trainer behind me, but um, keep in mind that this class, any, any of these classes, um, any of this stuff can be broken down to its simple, simplest form is on and off, right? So everything beyond that in this class is just bells and whistles. But remember that as you're going through all this stuff, um, all we're trying to do here is turn a motor on and then turn it off. And then we're gonna have all sorts of different ways, shapes and sizes to do that with all sorts of different components and um, drives and motor starters and relays and pilot lights and all that stuff. But all we're trying to do is turn that motor on and off, okay? And Friday, we're gonna get into the guts of the motor and what makes them work. And we'll start looking at ladder diagrams, or excuse me, I said Friday, but I think I meant Wednesday. Um, and you should have enough information by the end of class Wednesday to come in Friday and start working on the, the labs. Sound good? Any questions? No? Nice short first day of class, huh? Is this class gonna get into uh, frequency drives at all? Oh yeah. Do you cool. have much experience with those? Not a whole lot. Yeah. I've worked, I've probably only worked with them once, maybe twice. Yeah. Yeah, so what, Cody's talking about, if you guys are unfamiliar with this variable frequency drives, and it's a way to uh, control the speed and the torque of an AC motor. One of these guys. We have all sorts of different kinds of them, but in the lab on your trainers, you'll have your, you'll have your own drive that you'll uh, go through and program the parameters. I'll teach you how they work and um, how they work, why they work, and why we need them. So the ones that you've seen in the field, where were they? It was on some uh, display stands for farm equipment. Okay. Like for big uh, motors for power, like corn head. Yeah. Like a test stand kind of thing. Yeah. Do you know why they were using them in that application? I don't know if it's for adjustable speed. They're going to go faster or slower with the speed of the head, maybe. Yeah. There's two two main reasons that they they are used. And one is obviously to control the speed. So like motor's going to spin at whatever rate the frequency of the sine wave is coming in from from the company from like Ameren, right you get anybody know what the frequency is when you plug something into the wall 60 60, 60 hertz. hertz so 60 sine waves a second right that's what we're getting and we can't we want to control the speed of a motor we can't call Ameren and say hey can you sp slow that frequency down to about 30 hertz for me please they're just not going to do it so we use drives, we'll do that for us. And they simulate a slower sine wave. That's what controls the speed. But what it also helps with is cost because you'll see some graphs and stuff in this class. But when you just turn on a motor, like with this motor starter back here, if I had a motor on here, which I don't right now, but I will. If I turn on a motor, 
um, there's this huge inrush of current, right? It draws a lot of energy right off the get go until it gets up to speed and it's working at its rated speed at its rated load. Um, but with a drive and you slowly ramp up that speed, um, you don't have that huge inrush of current. So Ameren will actually give you like, I don't know, some of the places that I've worked at over the years, they, they use drives because Ameren will actually give them discounts, you know, in places like Komatsu and Caterpillar and, you know, ADM, all those places that use a lot of motors for big load applications. Ameren wants them to like, chill their power consumption so they use drives to to help with that but yep good question any other questions i'm gonna make it kind of a short one today because it's like syllabus day but and dad did you have something no so whose poster is that that's my dad's can can we have a talk with him please <laughs> I'm totally kidding. He's, he's from Wisconsin, so it might not be that productive of a conversation. Well, hey, I like cheese. Cheese is good. I just hate the Packers. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I really hate him. But it's a good rivalry. Any other Bears fans in here? I'm waiting. Sort of. All right, I think I've talked at you long enough. Anybody got any other questions? But do your homework for Wednesday. Um, back on Zoom Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. Everybody cool? If you have any trouble getting your textbook? Zip 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 I think that was right. like a plan. <laughs> Is yeah, that what he said? Yep, sounds like a plan. All right. <laughs> he sounded like R2D. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. We got M Daddy's translating, so we're good. Good, good deal. All right. We'll see you guys Wednesday then. Shoot me an email if you have any questions or yeah. trouble or anything. Will right. Wednesday right. be the will Wednesday be the full three hours? Probably knowing me, got probably it. not. Email. Okay. Unless you want to hang out that Sounds long. Sounds good. Awesome. The, I don't know if that's lowercase or uppercase. So okay. I'm sure we'll get so, it. just so Thank you know. You, yeah. We'll get this old guy ripped out of here and get her going. Have a good one, Zach. See ya. Bye. See ya. Yeah, so, Wednesday, just so you know. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the break her off stuff. Muting you, Carter. Uh, the first part of class, if you have any questions on homework, we'll go over that. If not, we'll get right into um, motors, motor theory, and get into some ladder diagram. I just want to make sure you have enough information Wednesday to, to have something to work on by Friday. So if we get through that stuff in an hour or two, so be it. If you want to hang out until lunch, cool. Whatever you guys need. All right. I'm not not interested so much in the clock as I am uh, getting you the information you need to succeed at this stuff. Make sense? All right. And Thank I know you. you're probably asking that, Cody, because you have a work schedule. And like, yeah. I'm, I'm respectful of that. And if, you know, whatever you need, I'll work with you. But uh, oh, thank you. Like, Gavin, yeah. Friday, you're going to be gone. Like, we'll make that up. I could probably come in after it's done. I don't know how long it's going to be. Okay. Uh, we're not going to, every week's not going to be lecture, lecture, lab. We'll have plenty of time in the lab. It's just right now, I don't have enough information to you to let you just cut your okay. lab yet. So you'll have plenty of time. All right. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to end this meeting and get the uh, recording up on youtube so let me let me know if you have any questions before wednesday all right well, thank you all right that was good see you fellas see you yeah yeah